All three of them are unblurred right here. That's terrible. Everyone is saying that AI is just going to completely change the world. And that's probably true, but I own a video production company and AI isn't really great with video so far, but maybe it's getting better. Maybe it's changing. So my goal for 2024 is I don't want to get left in the dust. I am going to go and explore different platforms. One platform each month, I'm going to record my findings and I'm going to share it with you. Let's do this. Okay, the first platform that I want to explore is called Runway. Runway has a lot of functionality built into it. I am very curious about the Remove Background tool. Click on an area to start masking. Okay, we're just clicking face, generating mask. That was very fast. Looks like part of their skin here wasn't included. Do I just click that again? Yes, I do. Okay, so that's nice. Refine brush feather. That's probably the edges. It does look pretty good actually. Okay, so I've got this space asset. I'm just gonna put it under our interviewee, hit play. You know, like actually not that bad. That's pretty dang good. Ease of use pretty high. I'd probably give it like a four and a half or a five. Uh, speed, very fast. I'd give it a five. Okay, quality, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it like a four. I'm really seeing this poor quality when it's like really bright in her shot, but then really dark in the background. So, you know, if it was light in the background, it would actually probably be harder to see that. But four for now, will I use it again? I. I will definitely use this again. If I have to easily mask things out, I think this is a pretty clutch tool. One platform a month, the entirety of 2024. Lots more content coming to you. Like and subscribe. Turn any video into super slow motion. This is what the clip is. Okay. Let's drop it to 50%, I guess. Oh, wow. Oh, that was actually really fast. Okay, that's actually really cool. Oh, there was their leg disappears right there. But that's pretty good. Like you could definitely find spots of this to use. So 100% obviously looked good because it's the real clip. 50% was pretty good. 10%. Wow, that's slow. You can see how it's kind of trying to fill in the data in between. It's like a little janky. Some things are like popping in and disappearing. Oh, that was actually really obvious when, when the spokes, when the hand is in the spokes right there. There's moments like right now, it looks really good. Ease of use, very easy. Once I had the clip, I just dropped it in and then picked the speed and hit process. That was really nice. I'd give it a five. Speed, I'd give it a five as well. Quality, like a three and a half. And that's purely based on the fact that like, there are moments here when like the leg just like disappears and that's not great. But it is worth saying that like this moment right here, like just looks really smooth. And that's like, that's really good. So I give it a higher rating but there are moments where it's kind of janky, but you can you could pick the moments that work really well for you. Um, will I use it again? I will 100% explore using this again. We've tried removing background, which was pretty good. We've tried super slow motion, which was also pretty good. Let's see. Okay, let's try this one. Blur faces. That is not how I thought it would blur their faces. Just a huge cube. Oh, and you stop blurring the kid's face and the guy's face. Okay, so, so far, not great. Both of these faces get unblurred. Uh, oh, all three of them are unblurred right here. That's terrible. That's not great functionality. Uh, like a human would not have made that error. Ease of use, pretty good, I guess. Um, five, speed. It somehow took longer to do this than to 
use like remove background and to use super slow motion. So speed, I'm just gonna give it like a three out of five. Like it's still decent, but it takes a little bit of time. Uh, quality of it, I like, I think I have to give it a one. Like, I mean, that's kind of rough. That's kind of brutal, but like it literally didn't blur the faces. Will I use it again? No, no, I will not. It is not what I would call a great feature of this service. So that's the first one that I don't actually really like here. What else do we have here? What is in painting? Remove people and things from videos. Okay, yep, nice little outline. I don't know how accurate I need to be with this highlighting process. Oh, he's gone. What about... Okay, so it's definitely not perfect, right? But that's also really good. I mean, they, there's the really obvious stuff. There's the wheel on the bottom, you know, the shadow it's casting, that kind of sucks. You might be able to get rid of that though, but the lines right here and how it's distorting them up top, that's really bad. Let's try editing something that's a little more simple. We have the person shopping. In this video, the camera is not moving and the person and the cart is. Mmm, that looks terrible. I mean, I'm gonna have nightmares, you know, like <laughs> this, this is not good. Ease of use, I'd probably say like three or four speed. It was pretty quick, probably like a four or five. Quality, it like, I mean, I wouldn't use it. Like it, it's like a two or a one even. Um, this one actually felt like was kind of worse than the other one. I thought this one was gonna be easier. Will I use it again? No, I'm not gonna use this again. That, that was bad. Yeah, that was bad. Change the style of a video with text or images. What does that mean? Let's try the biker. I feel like we could probably create something cool here, like space. Like what, what is space going to do? It's a, it's a space person. It's a person in a suit. Well I, well, I wanna see this, like this, this actually looks cool. Will it look cool in the end result? No idea. So it's cooking right now. Moon person riding bike. That's so interesting. So it's trying to put it on the surface of the moon. Some of the surface isn't changing, some of it is changing. And it's trying to make the person moving dressed in all white and like give them a helmet. And then like at times the bike is white and everything. Okay, overall, really creative. I could see this being used in like a funky music video or something. It's definitely not something I'd give to a client, but you know, overall, that's fun. That's fun. And I can see the, the application of it. Ease of use, I'm gonna give this one a four. The fact that you just have to sit and wait for it to process for so long is kind of a downside. You don't get immediate results and you might have to process things multiple times in order to get the effect you actually want. Speed, I mean, it does take a good chunk of time, but also in the scheme of like, do I have to hire someone to make this happen and how long does it take them? It is wicked fast, so it, it's a little tough. I'm gonna give it like a three. I mean, four minutes and 30 seconds is still a good chunk of time. Quality, uh, like a three, like, it is really cool and creative and can be used in like a music video, but no one is going to be thinking, wow, that person's on the moon biking in a space suit. Like, it's not that realistic. Will I use it again? I do think I will use this again, specifically in personal social media type of content to just create engaging type of weird visuals. Okay. We've gone through examples of five different functionalities within this platform. Runway AI, honestly, pretty dang impressive. Let's give ratings across the board. So first up, ease of use, I think it's five. Like, knocks it out of the park, it's easy to see buttons, you see where to click, it makes a lot of sense. Speed, let's give a four. There are a couple that have some render time, but overall, really, really fast. Quality. That's a tough thing to rate on a platform like this because we have the face blurring function, which just straight up didn't work. So 
terrible, one star. And then on the opposite side of that, you know, we have like the super slow motion, background removal, like things that actually worked really quickly and really well overall. I feel like we have to go kind of middle of the road, like three and a half. Huh? Will I use it again? I mean, I'm not gonna be blurring faces anytime soon with it, but masking quickly around people or even slowing down footage that doesn't have the data to do so, pretty valuable. I'll definitely use it again. Okay, we need to talk about arguably the most important pillar, which we haven't talked about at all yet. Pillar number five, which is price. Honestly, they have a wide spectrum. They have free forever, $12 a month, $28 a month, $76 a month. I mean, all of those are not ridiculous amounts of money, especially if you're actually using these effects and paid deliverables. If you wanna just play around, keep it free. Easy, done decision. If you are making projects for clients and you want to quickly mask around people, you know, this is definitely probably worth it for you. I have personally paid animators to go mask around talking heads for like two, three, four, five minutes at a time because we need those visuals on screen and we need to like blur out the background and whatnot. So if I can do that here for cheaper and quicker, that is definitely worth getting a subscription for me. If you know, it's like, hey, here's a $40,000 project. We need to mask around a ton of people. Can you do it? And I'll be like, yes, boop, 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 technology. And that is a wrap on January, folks. Our first AI video platform down. If you have something you want to be able to do with AI via video, put it in the comments. I am going to find these tools. I wanna know if we can actually use AI to enhance our businesses and enhance the deliverables that we get to help clients create. So like, subscribe, please stay tuned. See you on the next one. Appreciate you. Have a nice day.